This video is about an Atlantic crossing aboard a super yacht. Every year at the end of the European summer, many of the big boats make the migration across the Atlantic to the Caribbean for the Northern Hemisphere winter. But the technical side of these big boats for me is really interesting. So I'd like to share a peek into my daily routine as chief engineer aboard one of these big boats on a crossing from Gibraltar to St. Martin in the Caribbean. The crossing took 16 days. We departed Gibraltar at sunrise after refueling the night before. Anyway, let's grab a coffee and I'll take you down the engine room for a look around. These are our two main engines. Two V12 Caterpillars. They're rated at 1,500 kilowatts each. About 2,000 horsepower. There's two of everything on many of the systems on here. So there's two pumps on all of your critical systems so you can switch over if one fails. Small workshop. Let's step into the control room. It's a bit quieter in here and cooler too. Control room. While they drive the boat from upstairs on the bridge, the nerve centre of the boat's down here in the control room, in the engine room. Here's a mimic panel view of the tankage on the boat, with fuel and water tanks. We left Gibraltar with 160,000 litres of fuel, and we only burned 70,000 litres for the voyage, travelling at slow speed. We could carry about 50,000 litres of water. That's our air conditioning plant. Yeah. We've got two out of three compressors running. They chill water that gets pumped around the boat to air handlers that cools the interior. Here's our electrical load. We've got two out of three generators on the board, producing 120 kilowatts each. The main engines are controlled from the bridge, but we've got backup control in the engine room too. Something from the engineer's library. Even though we've got digital data for many of the systems that are running, we still keep a manual log every four hours, the temperatures, pressures. This is one of the generators, a six-cylinder caterpillar in a sound enclosure. These are our water makers. With both of them running, we can make 20 litres of fresh water out of seawater every minute. That's nearly 30 tonnes a day of fresh water, which is pretty cool. I used to log our position on my iPhone. I didn't trust them upstairs. In the forecastle. At sea. I've <clears throat> just done a bit of repair work here, changing a gauge. There's always something to do. This is only a tiny portion of the food we had on board. We had mountains of food. There was crew only on board for the trip. There were no guests for this voyage.
fire and safety drills are part of the routine of living on board, and being at sea was no exception. This was our audio visual server rack, including the controls for the VSAT for our satellite internet connection and the SAT TVs. These were logged on a routine basis as well. We were lucky with the weather on this trip. The wind increased steadily throughout the voyage, but it was always a following sea. Even had time to grow a beard. After 16 beautiful days at sea, land ahoy! I love the routine you get into and the peace and tranquility out on the ocean on a trip like this. It was almost a shame for it to end. I hope you enjoyed this trip across the Atlantic with me. Thanks for watching.